so for me to 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 see a government owned schools with that structures and the students don't have to pay to go there that's oh my god so this bit, this um schools is it the ones you saw in my video or the one you saw no i saw them on my way to, to cape coast on to my way to cape coast up to the slip i saw i saw the schools i saw the building i shall never lie my in my just life is, like these are government schools with these structures like nigeria need to learn this like for a fact it's not whether you are big or you are small it's but okay so no, but how is try. how expensive is it like i told you that it's extremely expensive i did that on purpose yeah you said so is it, that but, is um, that what it is or to, I me, to me the like i said the world itself is under economic crisis so it's i'm not feeling anything okay well, there's maybe, nothing unusual I, or is it because i have raised your expectation like i made it you already come with a bad as a bad already but the truth is that mm. the ghanaian currency is better than nigerian uh, because Naira. it's higher yeah the ghanaian currency is doing better when it comes to the dollar than Naira. they don't and know it's for a fact it's not whether <laughs> you drag or nigeria have to walk you can't be giant of Africa for nothing and be disgracing yourself. Your She's not doing is... Ghana content too. This ah, one, she has a no, unique no, niche. Say, if you see work. her audience. Nigeria have to walk. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I have this beautiful, <laughs> beautiful African woman in the building. And um, yeah. I'm so glad to have her. So you guys will meet her herself. Oh, Introduce oh yourself. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. I am Abigail Lucimiri. Yeah. You may have seen her channel on YouTube or may have not. Yeah, she's a Nigerian and um, she's also a YouTuber with the uniquest, I would say, oh. the best. Seriously, I'm not saying that because you're here, babe. Like, I like your channel. He has one of the best, the unique um, YouTube um, niche on YouTube. Wow. So you are welcome to Ghana. So can you tell us a little more about you? You're Nigerian. Where in Nigeria are you from? I know you don't like to do this I'm from here, but oh it's important. Goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, I prefer saying I'm just, I'm African because <laughs> yeah because of course we have to we have to rot for the motherland yeah <laughs> but i'm a nigerian because of course we always have where we came from so mm -hmm. i'm nigerian and living in nigeria mm -hmm. yeah I'm so what part of nigeria outside. are you from i'm from what they call the middle belt i'm from Benue state yeah in doma <laughs> you know i will make you i will make you say it you know Goodness. That's good. Mm -hmm. um, I've done a video here of um, a lady from Midoma. Her okay. name is a JJ. Her name used to be JJ Bonnie. Oh, she used to be an actress in Ghana. Oh wow. Uh, do you know about her? Oh. Oh, okay, she's now a minister of God oh, wow. of the gospel. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you are welcome to Thank Ghana. You. She's an African woman, like I've earlier <laughs> stated. So you are in Ghana for. Can you tell us a little more why you are in Ghana? Yeah. If you don't mind. Mm. I, I just want to explore Ghana historically since I do more about histories and politics. Yeah. That's okay. Why I'm here. So you came all the way to see <laughs> things yourself. Yeah. Yes. And right now, where have you have you visited so okay. far since we, you came? We've gone to the Cape Coast. Yeah. And uh, there are more places to explore, of course. Yeah. You're just like 24 hours in Ghana already. Mm, yeah. Yeah. How is the experience for you? Oh, wow. I, I think I only have good things to say. Really? Okay. Yes. I have good things to say because the experience I had, I think about roughly, um, let's say, three, four hours in Ghana, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like, I'm welcomed in Ghana because the thing is that initially I'm like, this is a place that I've never been to mm -hmm. and I don't really have people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, there. So how would these people see me? But when I came and I had that experience from the airport, I tell you, mm, mm, that's I, my guy. There was, mm, there was this guy, like he carried my matter for head. Oh. Like he just saw me and he was like, ah, my sister, they're calling me his sister. Oh. Oh. And I'm like, mm. he carried my bag. He was well moving with me to the place I went to get my sim. This guy took me there and he'll be telling them, this is my sister. Oh. This is my sister. Like he just, he just created that welcoming for me yeah. i'm like so i'm not lost even when i was at the airport I think in the land i've not been to yeah. i was 
Oh my goodness, I it think was wonderful. pretty privilege play, play, played a role. Ah, you know, baby. you look natural. <laughs> oh, that's what <laughs> Pretty privilege played oh a role. Ghanaians oh, really? are some of the most. Ghanaians are the most amazing people in Africa that I, I know I because this that. is the only country I, yeah, I've been to. Like in the airport where everybody is looking at, for, mm. like they they want to get out something from you. Mm. You could get a young guy. I think it should be around 25, mm. 24, 25. Mm. You could get a young guy of mm. that age um, ready to just help you out. So that moved me. It moved me. So he didn't even need to ask me. I just gave out because I knew that, you know, when you see people, you, they are not forced to do it. Mm -hmm. This guy took me to go get the SIM card. He registered me, got me a cab, and he told the man, take her where, where, where. Don't mess up. He told, he, then he came to the back and said, this is the amount you are going to give him, the one they oh, wrote. I'm like, where did this guy come from? And I was telling my husband, I'm like, I saw somebody at the airport. He has been helping me out. The driver could testify because I was telling him, I was like, ah. I never expected that I would meet someone like this. No, Ghanians just like, are amazing. Like my ancestors just sent yeah. him to me. The only time Ghanians <laughs> will allow you be, they won't hurt mm. you. The only time Ghanians won't hurt you, but they can actually just let you be. Mm. If you want them to, if your attitude okay. gives them that message, they yeah. get it very okay. fast that and they give it to they you. They need to see something that triggers them. Yeah, they, they don't like, they need to see some, like your attitude. But a Ghanaian can decide to come and give you a hand, and maybe you'll be like, hey, you know, you scream, oh, mm. he, we don't want problem, he don't want to bother you, he leave it. Mm. But he offers you help, you took it, you appreciate it, mm. oh, wow. Mm. You're mm. welcome to Ghana. Yeah. And I'm glad I'm proud of my people. Oh my goodness. So does that in any way prove that some of the things I've been saying on my channel <laughs> are true about Ghana? You are Ghanians. this your lily that I've been dragging people. <laughs> I've been dragging people, setting fire. Yeah, I, I drag Nigerians oh who goodness. want to drag the image of Nigeria. Oh my. Do you understand? Yeah. How do you do no, it? But for a fact, mm -hmm. let's say the truth. Mm. I don't know how you're going to take it, mm -hmm. but we don't like to be corrected and we don't like to be like to take corrections. Of course, that's the same word. <laughs> Okay, we don't like to be corrected, mm. and this whole egoistic behavior, mm. like I'm up there, you have to no. But how how do we how do we see this? Like you said, something need to trigger something. Exactly. Okay. If if there was peace and unity, nothing of course happened. The other person will not feel angered. A Ghanaian will not just attack you. Like I recently had my issues with my own audience you know okay you know i'm here i've been we learn each other oh, yeah. we learn to yeah, know yeah, each other of course. so i knew the way comments i was getting mm. i knew it was not it's coming from somewhere for a Ghanaian to just attack you lash mm. out it mm. means there's something, something you may have done on. maybe you don't know about it mm. so i mm. wanted to know mm -hmm. so that's how they are they they are not the, the perfect people on head but see Ghanaians you can cohabit with a Ghanaian for years you don't have problem if you know your boundaries yeah and when it comes to behavior and mm. attitude sometimes it's not you can't just label a nation as bad you can't label a nation as good that is the people, people I do are individual mm -hmm. okay you can't conclude and say oh, Ghanaians are like this mm. it doesn't sound well okay yeah there are cultures that are peculiar to a region there are cultures mm -hmm. that you can say okay this region does this mm. but when it comes to character okay because you met someone who was bad doesn't mean the whole place is bad it's, it's ba also the same with with, with Nigeria and Ghana it hurts me okay there are there are Nigerians that are good that of course look yeah at Lily. Lily is not Ghanaian this is Nigerian Be because because <laughs> the ones that are good are not coming forward to speak up exactly. is uh, making the the, the, the bad reason ones. is that when you speak that's why I say Nigerians mm. don't like correction yeah when I you don't speak, know how you take mm. we, we, it is us now they, they Nigerians don't like correction they wanted to always be parted on the head and mm. that's why evil will keep keep you know growing in our land highly. what you have harbor do you know i talked about a tribe the day i was talking about the, my doma sister mm. who made a statement oh i love ghana mm. and they, we have another nigerian from another region mm. speaking low using the logatory words on ghanaians mm. and i had to put it out there for ghanaians to see it's not mm. every nigerian that disrespects you of and that is no, what i want not, people it's to not know every, it's not every nigerian no. you get it mm. so if 
I don't speak up. Whatever, like we people who know that we think we are all the same, exactly. and I'm not speaking up for just me, I'm mm. always gonna be fine, yeah, anyways. Course, yeah, you get it, true. but what about another a next, um, the next generation of Nigerian that is mm. coming, another young Nigerian that is coming to Ghana, yeah, and she's gonna be paying, you know, she's gonna be avoided for the sins of another. Do you get it? Mm. Because the worst that a Ghanaian would do to you is to avoid you, you see, as they yeah. are. You insult them, the best they will do to they, madam, hey, you finish there. They know they don't get they don't get wahala. I'm not saying they are perfect. You know, no, we have it, Ghanaians. It doesn't that happen that way. Every nation has their downside. Mm. Every nation has their strength. So it's the same with all the fifty-four countries in the continent. Exactly. And like I keep saying, I'm not I'm not gonna be that person that okay, I have to side these people because I'm from them. Mm. If it is wrong, we have to say it that it is wrong. Oh, I thought I'm alone. No, no, I, I, no, I thought no. I'm alone. If it is wrong, we have to say because this is our motherland. <laughs> it is a continent. We are brothers and sisters. We have to work out something. If not, the enemy will come in and use us to destroy exactly. us and uh, if if we don't respect each other mm -hmm. there can never be peace of among course us. of course you get that's it. very fast so i do not hate do you think i do you think i hate nigeria <laughs> not oh, even no, nigerians no. How, do you how think can, i hate nigeria how can you hate where you came from okay i'm angry but you yeah. know i'm angry with nigeria of course you are it it shows from your content yeah i'm very angry sometimes <laughs> i'm especially with the 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 the, the series i'm doing on schools mm -hmm. or do you know oh, that but, all the schools but, See, Lily is not lying. No. When I was going to Cape Coast, did you see Fancy Man? I saw the schools, secondary schools. I'm like, and she said, you saw it was I decided schools. You saw I decided college. You said no. What what gave me like what pushed my interest into it more is that when they say they are government owned schools mm -hmm. and they don't pay. You don't pay, they don't pay anything. School fee. Hmm. I'm like a government owned secondary school that the student doesn't pay school fee is as structured as this. I was yeah. telling her, I, said, I like the structure. It looks neat, See, kept, cool, cash arranged. Mm. This is a secondary school for goodness sake. See, there are things that mm. as nations in the motherland, we have to learn from each other. So when it comes to this, oh my goodness, I give it to Ghana. Like, what did and I haven't done thing? anything. I haven't gone. Oh there are places, there are videos I have filmed already, mm -hmm. and they are not in Accra, they mm -hmm. are not in Cape, Cape Coast. Mm -hmm. They are in faraway places. Mm -hmm. And uh, if no, I the talk now, then go we'll see. No, it's not like Nigeria does not have those structures. Yes. They have, but they are not government owned. Oh. This is where the government, Nigeria government, have to sit to the educational system. Can they I are get not government hug? owned. Can I no, get a but... My audience will slap me for not letting you talk. <laughs> no, but it's for a fact. Those schools are not government owned. They are mostly private owned. Like someone just come build it. You see, you see structures. Like there are structures of schools, secondary schools. There are, but they are not government owned. She does not that live in Ghana, oh. ladies and gentlemen. She does not live in Ghana, and she's she, her contents are not based on Ghana. It's okay. Oh, she's looking for views. I have been accused of so many things. I have <laughs> sold my country. I said, eh, no wahala. Oh Do you get God. it? No, no, but this is what I saw. I'm glad you saw um, Fancy okay. Man Girls. Uh, I, I, I that saw. is a government school. Yeah. Do you know that not paying fees in Ghana is not even my biggest, um, mm -hmm. um, uh, it's not the most pleasant part for me. Mm -hmm. The most pleasant part for me is that it is well structured. So if I'm like, paying, even if buildings. I'm paying, yeah. what's it? You see your money. You see, corruption has eaten the the major part of the motherland countries that are supposed to be pillars are the mm. ones that corruption has eaten people are siphoning money government officers are running away with billions of yeah. dollars why is most of this money they are running away with are the money they are supposed to use to give structures exactly mm. I, I, I want to cry when i talk running away do you it. remember do you know that they they used to be free feeding for primary oh, school children in nigeria they they spoiled it now I know people oh personally. I wanted goodness. to get someone arrested, but my mom told me if you dare, I wanted to arrest her because she wasn't doing what she's supposed she to do. She was collecting the money. Yeah, you see, my activism started mm. way back, mm -hmm. even before I came on YouTube. Like mm -hmm. I was irritated. This money is for these kids, mm -hmm. but these kids are not eating. You are collecting the money and the food items mm -hmm. from the government. So I am angry with Nigeria and Nigerians. I'm That's angry with the leaders. And our people because 
if you if the leader gives you an assignment mm -hmm. and you don't carry mm -hmm. you also the corruption is not just only for the government it's also for those it's not for the government officials alone it's also for those who work with the government exactly and that's why Nigeria has to see, see a serious sit down and deal with corruption. Corruption is a problem of Nigeria. Nigeria has potential. Nigeria has the people. They, are, they have intelligent people. They are people who are exposed. Yeah. But corruption will not allow people to, to develop mm. things. And when you go there with the mindset of wanting to make they'll bring you down. Yeah, they'll bring you down. For me now, they are looking for ways. Like they have looked for ways. They have written in newspaper. Oh Do you know they wrote oh on wow. Vanguard? Ah, 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 ah. You know, when I when I made uh, lemonades out of it, oh you know, I'm supposed to be mm. crying. Those are lemon. Mm. Yeah, I am supposed even so lime true. safe, oh but because my. I make lemon inside, they can't, you can't paint them. Uh -uh. Like I was supposed to be crying. Like oh why my. will you risk my life? Though my name was not mentioned, but when you say Nigerian YouTubers in Ghana, they come online and check my videos will the pop thing up. Is, it takes maturity to accept your mistake. Okay. So when I told them that I'm a big deal, I'm waiting, I'm a big deal, <laughs> start to, they stop using newspaper, they are using different methods, oh telling Ghanaians to avoid me, that if I don't love my country, there is no how I'm going to love Ghanaians, and there is no how I'm going to love okay, Ghana. they are pushing into patriotism now, you're not being patriotic. Yeah, yeah, and so I'm supposed to support a year boy that is scamming people. Petro that's one thing Nigerians, we have to, we have to learn. We patriotism don't know the difference. does not mean you support evil. Mm. If I support the evil that my brother is doing, the name of patriotism i am bringing down my nation and he will do it to me when he's I'm done bringing, doing others yeah i'm bringing down my nation it's good it's mm. high time we begin to accept our mistakes so that we can grow as a country and as a continent like i said though there is no region of the motherland that does not have corruption every country has dealing corruption. with it every country has its downside every country mm. has its strength we shouldn't depend or rely on the downside and bring down ourselves. Mm. We can work this out. We just need love and understanding. Okay? Understanding. That exactly. is it. That Things is are it. happening. Yes. Girls are missing in Nigeria. You, I don't know if you're aware of this that, because you're of busy. Of course, people missing. Okay, I people, don't people, know what to say. Like, yeah. I, I'm, I'm like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> do you know that? It's not like this can never happen in Ghana. Of course it can. Okay, like, but do like, you know the, have, the way the police are handling the issue? You wouldn't have been that way in Ghana. The streets I am staying, I, I saw a police station there. Okay. I'm like, oh my. In Ghana? Yeah. Okay. I, where, I where I stay, mm. I'm seeing police station there. Because the driver was like, this is a police station. Ah, police station. And then you turn here, you see police station. You turn there, you see police station. Oh. And I'm like, yeah. In Ghana? You mean you have police really? stations? You, yeah. Really? In Ghana? I, I'm not like, around here there is no police station but mm. everywhere is secure no oh, mm. in the dark you think you want to mess up in the dark mm. you will just be surprised <laughs> oh, oh yeah surprised with you will the, the police because they are around now the day police day everywhere <laughs> that's what i'm saying but the good thing on is on the streets you have a police station on the streets i'm like where wow. instant justice like i took someone to the police for something for a family issue but it's and a good thing to it, do it that. was that day they resolved it all that day they wrote it because they're always readily close hmm. to you and you could easily access justice it. So justice instant justice and fairness i have heard complaint from nigerians oh then they discriminate against us when i investigate i realize that these people are not a nigerian that i want to be mm -hmm. proud of oh, wow. it's not a nigerian i was say, okay this one ah live under my brother is mm. a nigerian who, whose hands are not clean oh I see. and they want me to come and sit down here mm. and twist it. they say where is the brother coat they call it brother bro coat now no follow okay, like bro when coat. that means when your brother is doing evil uh, you, so you cover to. your brother yeah i'm supposed to i think there's what the major thing you have you may have seen online is we not being given houses right yes yes i oh, thought you were going to ask me about that Nigerians well, it was in my head, you know, I forgot. Like, Nigerians, they don't give houses to Nigerians like that. Mm -hmm. Why? Okay, you want, as you say it? Why? Yeah, I didn't know that. It was a why to me, too, back in 2022 when I came. I was crying. I even made a video. And I was confused. Why? Mm -hmm. But then, later, I was given a house. Last, last, you know. Even at that point, I was still wondering why. Then finally, when I got my last, the place I moved to here, mm. 
the man opened his house to all Nigerians and he said, we are welcome. The day I rented, I told him, sir, I'm a Nigerian. He said, it doesn't matter. You're, you're human. We are family. We are one. He's, he has your kind of African <laughs> mindset. So he was like, oh, it doesn't matter. And I told him, sir, I'm a single mom. People don't pay the same price in the house. You pay different prices. Mm. And I will explain to you. Okay. That is because when you come, he has his price. But when you come and you explain, maybe you are going through Your difficulty. Deal. Okay. He will say, okay, how much can you pay? This oh, is how nice wow. this man is, was to That's us. Good. And then I told him I could pay a certain amount. And he said, mm. okay, bring it. Oh. And I said, I don't have all the money at once. He said, bring it. Before you move in, you should be able to complete it. Okay. The day I wanted to move in, this man is honest. Everything was there, water, everything. He, he, they were Nigerians renting, you know, his apartment. Neighbors were warning him, don't do with Nigerians. He refused. He said, we are we, fairness, justice. But do you know what? A, a, a year later, he's not giving his house to Nigerians again, no matter what. So what happened? The people don't pay their bill, like water. How do you think it's okay to live in an apartment where you don't pay? The, um, bills. the bills, oh my goodness. your uh, utility Nigerians. bills, like Nakari you just no don't want to pay, but you run air conditioner from morning till night. Oh, wow! Nobody bothers you. What do you do for a living? Nobody bothers you. But how can you not pay your bill? And when this man, the we had our water taken from mm -hmm. us, I think he got frustrated and blocked the water or something. Oh, he bought water because he have more work going on. Okay. Your people, my people, mm -hmm. went to break the padlock, Ooh. emptied the whole tank. I, I didn't know, of course, people are watching. He didn't complain. The only time we knew he was done with Nigerians was when it was time to renew the rent, and he said, nobody's renewing. Mm, 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 nobody's mm. renewing. Oh and he my. said to me, if you want to stay, madam, you can stay. He does not know anything about my YouTube channel. But I didn't want to stay because I needed space. I needed um, okay. yeah, more space. More space yeah. So this is it. Now, gradually, there will come a time when Ghanaians will judge us based on individual. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be based on where we come from. And we are getting there. Yeah, and people like me are playing the, that role. Yeah, he asked me if you want to stay, so madam. It's not, yeah, stay. it's not about the nation, it's not about Nigeria, it's about the people. Exactly, it's about there are things there are Nigerians that are good, like you meet them, you, you thank the Almighty that you meet. Them. I have a question like to that. ask. Okay, there's a young Nigerian guy who is in Ghana. I have dragged him and I'm tired, you know. Who is the he came and he just opened his camera and said some horrific things about his host country and the people. Eh, they are dead, they are dead, they are this. You know, he said they are nothing up to, they are not up to Nigeria. The entire country is just, he made, if you can watch, you can't watch that video. You won't like it. So, and, and I'm like, okay, so what do you think of it? He lives in Ghana. Oh. So what's he doing? All this disrespect is making them in Ghana. Oh. You like you come to my country and you're opening your mouth. You see, as me, I did so now. Me, Abba. me that is always dragging Nigerians. <laughs> Do you know that there is no non Nigerian that can go to Nigeria and drag Nigeria when you are not Nigerian? Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Me, personally, I will come mm -hmm. for you. Yeah. So, but do you know that that young man lives in Ghana and he feels freely going about? Oh, my. Really? Do you have anything to tell them about this guy? Ah. What do I what do I say even? I think he's trying what to do trigger. I say even? He want Nigeria must go. He want Ghanaians to so be they, fed they up. So they pursue all the like because of one person. Mm. So they can they pursue other people. No, it's on a mission because by the time he do that, get away with it. Like he has gotten away with it. More are coming to do it from that region. And then the next thing, Ghanaians because they don't want violence, mm. they would rather have us go. See, the thing is, we have to be careful as Nigerians <laughs> living in other people's land. It's not only Ghana that's be, that do make complaints about Nigerians. Let's be frank. Let's, let's be frank and tell ourselves the truth, though. We, we can't be patting each other's head like we are kids. Mm. It's not only Niger uh, Ghanaians that have issues with Nigeria. Whether we, we, I don't care whether Ghanaians are whatever or whatever. I but, don't care whether other places are whatever, whatever. But why, I say black Americans. Why is Concrete. it that Nigeria, why hmm. is it that Nigeria all the time, Nigerians, Nigerians, Nigerians? Why can't Nigerians change? What is that thing that is holding us back? Hmm. 
Mm. Like, look at this kind of character now. Mm. You're in another man's land. You're using you your mouth. You think, think it's the okay. The place you are feeding from. Like, what is even the mm -hmm. essence of all this of all this comparison? Mm -hmm. Is this this comparison that will help us to grow? And you see Nigerians at his comment section. <laughs> Dogu, keep it up. <laughs> see, that's guy. what I hate, though. That's what I hate. You see all these people, nobody will open their like I keep saying it. Mm. We don't like correction. Nigerians don't like correction. They mm. don't like being corrected. They don't like the truth to be told to them. Mm -mm. They are okay when they, they are always right. their head. For what? They are always so right. you want people to keep supporting Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. Mm. Have, Nigerians also do make mistakes. Mm. The way you look at other people making mistakes, Nigerians make mistakes. So you don't want people to talk about the mistakes mm -mm. Nigerians don't make. Talk. Don't talk. Why are, are you a masquerade? They are your people. Keep it. Keep it. Don't. It doesn't matter. This doesn't make sense. And I, I'm, I'm oh not goodness. stopping anytime oh soon. Ah. It won't stop. Anyway. Even if he's not on this channel, anywhere. Mm. I My own is that mm. if you if you like, we kill ourselves. And maybe mm. anyone that survive, the people we are fighting ourselves for, the Europeans, they will still come. They will come and take. And they will carry all of us because one. The, the time we are supposed to use to strategize on how to sustain ourselves as the African people, whether you are Ghana or Nigeria, or my own is, as far as you are African, the time we are supposed to use to strategize, we use that time to differentiate, to, to cause internet problem, to insult each other. One day, we will not have Africa for our children. We won't. Because we have decided to, to not use our sense to help mm. ourselves. We have decided to use our time to waste it on comparison. Mm. And it's not helping. This is not going to solve our problem as the African people. We have to change. We are brothers and sisters, whether we like it or not. Exactly. We are Africans. How do we? No have... place will accept you outside the motherland as they no are. Way. It's only in the motherland that you can be accepted. Like that. So we need to change the way we look at ourselves. Repent. This is repentance. We need to repent. Give because... your life to Christ. <laughs> Give your life to the continent, oh according goodness. to our yes. of the continent. I'm not Christ, <laughs> Christ people. Me, I'm decolonized. I don't, I don't believe in those things. <laughs> My one is to look for oh. a way to help ourselves to, to pull out delight. of colonialism. That is it. So you're, you're such a delight to have. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Thank and, you. And uh, have you experienced any? Like, have you tried the Ghanaian food since you came? Uh. Mm, there are things I don't want to say. Ghanaians, I hope you will not be angry. No, there won't be. They like honest one. people, whether in favor of I, them I or against the them. Rice. But just be. I, mm -hmm. Because you know, it's always hyped. Mm -hmm. And this is, they still fight for food again to Nigerian Ghana. This what is, is where our problem? You in trouble now. Oh, yeah. Besides, you want to put no. me in trouble. Talk it. Food that we eat to sustain your life, you still drag it. Uh -huh. But the truth be told, though, mm. the, the, the Ghana rice did not enter me. Okay, you didn't like it. it. I, even, I opened the sauce and I put. The thing, I, I the made it. I would have snapped that thing. I would yeah. have snapped it and show you because person, half of the food is sure more than half. The person half didn't know how to prepare it. I Maybe don't know. One, oh, I wanted to make sure the thing did not taste where. Don't mention anybody's name. The thing did not taste where. And the, the sauce, they said I opened it and put smile. The thing was not good. They don't know how to prepare it. I would like you to retry. Since you guys are going out tomorrow, mm -hmm. you retry Ghana jollof. I, uh, please I try the try Ghana fufu, again, oh. fufu and that fufu. watery soup, please. Ooh, oh my goodness. And goat meat. Oh, okay. I would like a feedback. Okay. So, but how is how expensive is it? Like I told you that it's extremely expensive. I did that on purpose. Yeah, you said So is it, that but, is um, that what it is? Or to me, to me, the like I said, the world itself is under economic crisis. So it's I'm not feeling anything. Okay, well, there's maybe, nothing unusual, I, or is it because I have raised your expectation? Like I made it, you already come with a bad as a bad already. But the truth is that mm. the Ghanaian currency is better than Nigerian uh, because Naira. it's higher. Yeah, the Ghanaian currency is doing better when it comes to the dollar than Naira. They don't and know. It's for a fact. It's not whether mm -hmm. you drag or Nigeria have to work. You can't be giant of Africa for nothing and be disgracing yourself. Your She's not doing is... Ghana content too. This ah, one, she has a no, unique no, niche. Say, if you Ghana see her work. audience. Nigeria have to walk. Nigeria, you need to walk. You can't be claiming you are a big giant, giant of Africa. Giant. You are big, big, big. You'll be intimidating people everywhere. Giant fighting people. School. And you look at the country. The, see, to tell you the truth, mm -hmm. Nigeria should be more than what it is. Should be. The way we are The level the Nigeria is. The mm. level Nigeria is we, Nigeria is supposed to be in that level. That's why we have to divert energy into working within than to be talking uh -uh. all these things that are not important. Nigeria is not supposed to be where it is. I have dragged a couple of people oh on goodness. YouTube and have changed their lives. 
I will drag Should them, they will go and buy equipment, they will brighten up. Oh I have been dragging the government of my country, they are not doing anything. No, we have to, see, that's why I want them to pain them, say. I want Nigeria to pepper me. We need to fight our yes. government, not ourselves. Pepper me by creating schools, yes. even if we are going to pay, let mm -hmm. it be worth it. Yeah, but like, like I said, there are schools, but it's, it's private owned. And you, the poor man cannot even afford it. This is a honest lady mm. speaking, no, 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 you need, you need <laughs> to have some amount of money so your child who goes to the private schools, mm. good private schools in Nigeria, is expensive, yeah, but for me to see government-owned schools with those structures, so for me to, to, to see a government-owned schools with that structures and the students don't have to pay to go there, this, oh my god! So this, this um, schools, is it the ones you saw in my video or the one you saw? No, I saw them on my way to, to Cape Coast. On to my way to Cape Coast, up to the slip I saw, I saw the schools. I saw the building. I shall never lie my in my justice. life. Like, these are government schools with these structures. Like, Nigeria needs to learn this. Like, for a fact, it's not whether you are big or you are small. It's to make your country I wish you had time so that you go into the university. I wanted you to, you know, I told her, please, if there's time, you people should enter University of Cape Coast campus. Oh, okay. You get why? I wanted oh, you to go goodness. and see. Oh, oh, there was no time. Thank you so much, okay, right. for coming. I love your channel a whole lot, guys. Oh, wow. You, you, I'll, you will like her. Go and check her. I'm <laughs> going to leave her. Are you sure though, like, if you are a religious person, you don't like me. No, no if but you are all this Jesus, you're under oh, Jesus. I'm, I'm the Jesus baby. You're under Jesus. A lot Jesus of people attack me here. Oh, Lily, I thought you have sense. You don't. Oh, oh Jesus. Well, wait, Jesus. Mm -mm. Don't do that. There's no Jesus. <laughs> oh and me and they, so they were like, I have a lot of those people on here. So they are coming to you straight. Oh, the Europeans have dealt with us. And I hope you do have a pleasant stay in Thank Ghana. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I do Thank have you. a. You do have a pleasant stay in Ghana. Thank you. And um, what again? Oh, sorry. Before you go, do you know anything about the health insurance scheme in Ghana? No, no. What's, okay. Do you know that in Ghana work? everybody is entitled to health insurance scheme as long as you live here legitimately? Really? Yes. My oh, kids. Wow. Um, my kids has like health insurance where the government pays about oh, wow. seventy percent. Wow. When I take my child or myself, I don't have health insurance yet. Hmm. If I take any of my child to the hospital, I hmm. pay they will subsidize it by seventy percent. Wow. It's not just for people that work with some big companies, it's for Oh everyone. that's what happens in Nigeria. There are there there's what we call yeah, there's also health insurance scheme for some workers. You see yeah. mm. people that they are not supposed to, those people can afford it. Yeah, they, they can the afford it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, the pure water hawker you saw on the mm, road mm. has health insurance and access to. Wow, Ghana. Yeah. Like, that is Ghana. You are complaining about your government and you have things like this. <laughs> they want so, more. So, what, what will Nigerians do now? They want more. Oh, wow. They want, they want wow. more. For no, me, hands good. down, Ghana is doing well. Mm, they are trying. Uh, yeah. So, not there so. yet, but they are. They of course, better. every nation has not mm. been, we've not reached. Every nation is trying to see that exactly things work the way it should be. And that's how we also, we also try to put our heads together. And there, there are a lot of black mm. Americans. I'm, I'm seeing our African-American families mm. are coming to Ghana. I think I saw you react to one of the videos. There was a lady. Oh my goodness. There was a lady. I wanted us to even talk about. There was a lady um, that complained bitterly about Ghana, how they extort money from her. Mm. Yeah, you she's see, an African American. She thinks she lived here for a year already. Yeah, but yeah. do you have you go? Did you go through her channel from the very beginning? Because for me, before I take side or come against you, mm. I like to see your history. Mm. But what she said is something that is is true about okay. Africa. Mm -hmm. So it's not something like I said. It's not something about Ghana alone. Mm -hmm. It's something that is true about Africa. But a lot of so, people are saying that they should um, African Americans shouldn't come to Ghana anymore. They should go to Nigeria instead. No, it, whether I you are in, whether from. Nigeria or South Africa or no. wherever, there's this tendency. See, that's colonialism. <laughs> when a, an Nigeria. African person sees someone who is in America. Mm. They tend to look at that person as a bag of money. Right. And it is what the Europeans have put in our heads. When you are in America, well, like when you are in the West, you are rich, you have the money. Is that not the reason why people are selling their property to fly out? I must out? not forget to ask you this. Do you think that that complaint she made in Ghana, mm. if it was to be in Nigeria, do you think she would have go through that too? She'll have, she will. She that's, will. What, that's what I'm For saying. For me, I know she will go through it like... Uh, 
hundred times ten times ten of okay? what she complains. So like, please, she should come to like Nigeria. Mommy, I'm saying, move to Nigeria. What okay? I'm saying is something mm. that is, that happens everywhere. As far <laughs> as it's the motherland, people see you immediately. You are an American. They see that you. They'll just automatically see money standing. Mm. So they will they will look for every opportunity to get extra. So it's exactly. not just something that is only for Ghanaians. It's not only Ghanaians that does that. It's everywhere. That's if I thought they did that to her. I think she exaggerated it. No, she might have experienced it because yeah, most of the things like, she says are true. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, most I apologize. If, I apologize if I have you know said mm, something. Yeah, most of the things she like, says are true. But mm. the thing is, there are policies that are st that even the government themselves extort from Americans. Okay. When I say government, I mean government. Mm. So when they notice you are American, like I, you pay it's friends. the colonial mentality. Like Europe and America have turned us into believing that you, if you are outside of the continent, you are a rich man. I bless God, I did not forget this. You went to the Cape Coast castle today mm -hmm. because you want to see history with your mm -hmm. eyes. Mm -hmm. How much did you pay? Okay, I paid eighty. Eighty cities. Yeah, and um, when you told how much a Ghanaian pay? It's twenty. Okay, so what do you think of that? Okay, I'm also African and I paid 80. Mm -hmm. So um, I just believe that the government is, is also using that as a tourism site to also gain something to help their, mm. their system. So it's something that can happen anywhere. And at the same time, they do not want to deprive their own people from having access to that place. Mm -hmm. Is it a bad thing they did? No, why is it bad? There Thank are you policies. Very much. People have policies that help them grow. So I don't see. Give me hope. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not not because you are Obviously saying what I like. Oh, because, because your mind. Nigerians will say, see them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on the right. channel. Do you have, if you have anything to say, please no, go on. No, that, I think I'm, I'm done. Ghanaian, take All care right. of my sister very well. Take care of, she, she, oh my goodness. Take, just take care of her. <laughs> Thank you so much. But uh, hold on. Oh, one more thing. When yeah. you saw me in my YouTube videos mm -hmm. and then you see me in person. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that have changed? Do you think I'm different? No, she's who you see. Like, oh my Africa, goodness. Madame ah. Wahala. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, guys. Don't forget to check her out, okay? And um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.